Many users like to combine their use of RAW files with the perfectly clear Photoshop plugin. To do this, you'll need to open the RAW file using Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop. This short tutorial will show you how. Before you can work with the RAW file, it needs to be interpreted into a high quality image that can be used inside of Photoshop. This task is handled by Adobe Camera Raw, a companion program to Photoshop. First, Open your RAW image like any other. You can do this by choosing File Open or use Adobe Bridge. Once you open the file, a preview image loads into the Adobe Camera Raw dialog. There are some essential options to choose to give the most information to perfectly clear. It's also essential to avoid applying any Photoshop adjustment that could damage the image. If available, click the default button to avoid making any basic adjustments. The only basic adjustment to consider is using minimal amounts of the shadows and highlights sliders to recover exposure problems with the raw file. You should also set the vibrance and saturation controls in Adobe Camera Raw to their default values and instead use the color controls in Perfectly Clear. It's important that you don't choose the auto correction option as this will provide Adobe corrections which can damage your photo because highlights will be lost, colors could be shifted, and depth distorted. We want a pure image for Perfectly Clear to apply its real color corrections. Be sure to leave the rest of the tabs at their default values. The Lens Correction tab in Adobe Camera Raw is the only exception. Consider using a lens profile to remove distortion and vignetting from the image. You may also want to remove chromatic aberration or color fringe if present. You might find the upright adjustments in the transform tool useful to compensate for distortion caused by the camera's position or angle. Now, let's set the kind of file that will be generated from the raw image. Click the workflows option link at the bottom of the picture to select the color space and bit depth. We recommend using the sRGB color space for the most consistent color workflow across displays. Also, choose 16 bits per channel so that Perfectly Clear has the most information to work with. We apply a special engine for 16-bit depth photos. It's important to note that most monitors aren't capable of displaying all 16 bits of information. While we recommend sRGB, Perfectly Clear can work with all supported color spaces, including Adobe RGB, and ProPhoto RGB. If you'd like to size the image while opening it, use the Image Sizing options in the Workflows Options dialog. This option lets you choose a new dimension for the generated file. While the output sharpening is OK to use, Perfectly Clear also has precise sharpening controls that you can apply. One advanced option to preserve flexibility in processing the RAW file is to use a smart object. This choice will also allow you to apply perfectly clear in a non-destructive manner. Just choose the Open in Photoshop as Smart Objects option to add flexibility to your workflow. This option makes it easy to reopen the perfectly clear dialog and adjust controls to continue refining your image at any time. For more on Smart Objects, be sure to view the video called Non-Destructive Editing with Perfectly Clear in Photoshop. When satisfied, Click OK to store the workflow options, then click Open to open the object. Photoshop loads your 16-bit photo into a document in the sRGB color space. Now, let's apply Perfectly Clear to the new image. Choose Filter, Athentech Imaging, Perfectly Clear Complete. Perfectly Clear goes to work immediately, automatically correcting your photo. Select an appropriate preset or make any adjustments to your image. When you're satisfied with the enhanced image, click Apply to process the photo. Because you're using a smart object workflow, you can easily make additional changes at any time. To refine the filter, just double click on the filter in the Layers panel. The previous state of the filter opens, but you can easily adjust the settings you're using. If you need to adjust the original RAW file, simply double click the layer to re invoke the Adobe Camera Raw dialog. When you save your opened and processed RAW file, you'll need to choose a new format. Be sure to save the file as a Photoshop native PSD file 
or as a TIFF file to preserve the 16-bit working space. Both formats also support layers if working in a smart object workflow. So that's all there is to processing your raw images with Perfectly Clear. Be sure to watch the rest of our video tutorials to understand all of your options. Thanks for viewing.